Hello artists, it's Mrs. Greenhouse. I'm so excited to do this art lesson with you today. I'm calling this the Wax Resist Heart Painting. Let's get started. The supplies you're going to need for this art project are a piece of white cardstock paper, a pencil, some watercolor paints, some water and a paintbrush, and a black and white crayon. Okay, to start, you're going to draw a large heart right in the middle of your paper. Hearts are kind of a hard shape to draw. So, it might be a good idea to practice first on a scrap piece of paper, or if you have one on a dry erase board, Let's just practice a few small ones together. There's a lot of different ways to draw hearts. I draw mine by drawing a hook, or I call it an upside down J. See how that looks like a J? And then I draw one opposite on the other side. But you can also draw a V, the letter V, I know you can all write the letter V and then put two fills on top. Bump, bump. So practice that way if this way seems too hard. Another way you can do it is turn your paper and write a three. I know everybody here can write the number three and then put the V on the bottom so many ways. Maybe even you have a different way to draw a heart and you could teach your classmates and your teacher how you do it. So practice first. Once you feel confident, get out that piece of cardstock and draw that heart nice and big on there. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I do think it should be big. Then we're gonna get out our black crayon and we're gonna outline this heart with the black crayon. To outline something means to trace over it. So I'm gonna do my best to stay right on top of the pencil line. This takes some concentration Okay, that looks good. The next step is to use that black crayon and draw some lines coming out from the heart, almost like the rays of the sun. I'm just gonna do this with my black crayon. I am not going to worry about doing it with my pencil first. Make sure when you make your lines that they come all the way off the edge of the paper. If you get a little bit of crayon on the table, it's no big deal. It'll wipe right off all the way to the edge. Okay, that's looking good. Now for the magic, we're gonna use a white crayon. Let me see if I can find my white crayon. Hold on everybody. Miss Greenhouse has to find her white crayon. I am going to draw all kinds of surprises in here with the white crayon. You're probably thinking, Miss Greenhouse, you're crazy. Oops, broke it. You, you can't even see that. Oh, but you will. You'll be able to see it after we paint on it. I'm putting swirly lines, wavy lines, more little hearts. You could even write your name in here somewhere like a secret message to be decoded. So all over, I'm gonna draw some lines. Now, if you look close, you can kind of, can you see it? Shh, I can see it a little bit. But if you look at it like this, you don't even know it's there. You could add some other things in these sections too. I'm just gonna draw some wavy lines in between the black lines, just for some added detail. All the way around.
One thing that's important about this, if it's going to work right, if you're going to get that wax resist technique to really work, you have to press hard with the white crayon. So make sure you're pressing hard and really bearing down with the white crayon so that it shows up when we paint over it. Okay, now I'm ready to paint. But before I can paint, I have to flip this over and write my name with a pencil on the back. At the beginning, I told you this is called the Wax Resist Heart Project. We have the heart, we have the wax, the crayon is the waxy part. Now it's time for the resist. The waxy crayon will resist the paint and it will show through the paint when I paint on top. Using my paintbrush and a wet paintbrush, I am going to put some paint right on top. Watch. Oh my gosh, here comes the magic. See how that crayon is showing up? Oh, it's so cool. Let's see, I'm going to put some orange on here. You can mix all kinds of colors right here on the paper. But remember, do not mix your colors in the tray. Let's see what happens when I go over this with purple. And maybe some blue. You can paint this any way you want. And I promise you, if you pressed hard with your crayon, the white crayon will show up. Looky there, that is cool. You can also go and paint all of your outside parts. Let me show you my finished one again. Here it is, finished and dry. I think that I might give this as a gift to someone special. Wouldn't this make a nice gift? It's beautiful. Okay, have fun. Get really creative and I'll see you next time. Bye.